What's happening guys? We're back for another Quick Tip Tuesday. Today we're talking about Elastic Wave Audio Retiming. Now, I don't even know if I've seen a video on this before, but this is pretty cool. It allows you to take an audio clip, any audio clip, could be music, which is what we're gonna use, could be a sound effect, could be whatever you want, an audio clip, and you can stretch out that waveform to adjust that audio clip so that you can retime it exactly how you want. So it's pretty cool. I think it's neat. Let's jump in Resolve and check this out. Now, as always, I'm gonna grab my headphones so I can hear what's going on in Resolve. But what we're gonna do is take a look at a song. I'm gonna use a clip of music here and I'm gonna show you how you can retime it using the Elastic tool. So I'm in DaVinci Resolve here. I have a song in my timeline and we wanna jump over into the Fairlight tab. So come on down over here, click on the musical notes, jump over into Fairlight. So now that we're in the Fairlight tab here, you might need to adjust your view a little bit so you can see your audio clip good. And like I said, we're using a music clip for this. You can do it with uh, you know Foley effects or sound effects or whatever you might need. You're gonna be able to retime it using this tool. I have my clip right here. I'm gonna select my clip, gonna right click on there and come down to Elastic Wave. Now, once you click on that, you're actually inside the Elastic Wave tool. So now we can set a range for our audio of where we wanna adjust it. And we're gonna be able to stretch it out or push it back in, whatever you wanna do. But let's see, let's just play a little bit of this and see where we wanna kinda of stretch it out a little bit here. <laughs> So let's say I want this uh, little part right here to be slower for some reason. You know, maybe you need to line up sound effects too. Uh, that could be one reason why you might want to use this tip. But basically, I'm going to put my playhead where I want to start changing the audio here. And I'm going to hold Command or Control on a PC and just click my mouse. And then it's going to put a line there. So if I move my playhead out of the way, you can see there's a little line right there. Now, where do I want my uh, elastic waveforms to stop? So I'm just gonna come past this little section here and I'm gonna command or control click again. So now I move my playhead out of the way. You see, we've got two different lines here. Now, if I grab the line or if I actually, if I hover over the line first, you're gonna see two little arrows point in each direction. So if I click and hold on there, I can drag it and stretch out that waveform. Likewise, if I go the other way, I can squish it down. So let's hear how it sounds now that I squished it down. So you can hear it sped it up, right? And let's say I want to slow it down. I'm going to grab that line. And you can see it'll move everything after that line that we set. It just moves it down. And it only affects everything that's in between those two lines. So now let's say I want to slow it down a little, pull that out. Now let's hear how that sounds. Now you might notice it might sound a little weird. I think it just depends on what you're working with. Obviously with music, it's eh, maybe it's not the best way to do it, but if you have some sound effects some whooshes or things like that, it works pretty good with that. I've tried that out and it sounds pretty good. Now, another cool thing that you can do is add in extra lines or points here that will hold everything in place for you. Cause if you don't want to move, you know, too much of your clip here, you're just trying to retime a little section. Uh, you can add in extra lines here, extra breaks to limit where that elastic wave happens. So to do that, you just move your playhead where you want, command or control click. And I'm going to put one on the other side too, command or control click. And now if I move my middle two bars, like we were doing originally, you can see it doesn't move the rest of the waveforms on the right or the left, right? It's only going to affect the waveforms that are in between two of these lines that I made here. So you can adjust it however you want. Now, if you did want to stretch out that other one all the way on the right here, you can gra grab it and pull it out. And uh, let's just see how that sounds. All right, so not the best, but you get the idea how this tool works. So now let's say maybe you actually want to move one of these lines that's in the wrong spot. All you have to do is come and hover over it. You'll get those two arrows again. Then hold your command or control key, control on a PC, command on a Mac, click on the line, and now you can drag it. And you see it's going to slip past the different uh, waveforms there because you're actually moving where that line is set, right? Maybe you wanted to move it, you put it in the wrong spot. You could just slip that line forward a little bit. You can relocate it wherever you want it to be. And then if you just click on the line without any, uh, you know, shift keys or command keys there, you can drag it in and out. And that's gonna affect whether the clip gets stretched out or squished together. And basically it's just changing the speed of the clip. Is it making it faster or slower? You can kind of think about it like that too. So now let's say uh, maybe uh, you put an extra one in there, you want to get rid of it. How do we get rid of one of these lines if we don't need it? So all you have to do, hover over the line, you want to right click on the line, and then you've got a few different options down here. You've got reset edited samples, reset speed curve, and right here, remove speed keyframe. So if I want to remove just that line, I'm going to click remove speed keyframe. 
Boom. That line's gone. Let's say I want to remove this one too. I'm going to right click on it, remove speed keyframe, and it's gone. And now we can just use our two original points to do whatever we want with the audio here. Let's say if I want to get rid of all of them, right click, come on down to reset speed curve, and boom, there you go. They're all gone. And now the audio is back to the original audio that was put in the timeline. And let's just say I'm going to add some more back in here. And uh, let's say, okay, that looks good. I'm done. How do we close out? Well, you can just come on up here to the top left of your little clip here. It says elastic wave. Go ahead and click on that X and boom. Now you're back into the regular view. And if we play through, we should hear a little difference here. And you can hear it was sped up a little bit there, just like we made it in the Elastic Waveform tool. All right, guys, that is the Elastic Wave tool here in DaVinci Resolve Fairlight. Pretty cool tool. I mean, I haven't really seen too much about it, but if you need to stretch out something a little bit or slow down a clip a little bit for your audio, this is a great way to do it. So if you guys learned a little something in this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up for me. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Peace.